Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. Well, it's still April, it's Thursday, it's Horus Heresy Thursday. Let's check out the new spoiler for this week. All right, so this is basically the last Thursday we'll have in April. So this is the final preview of the new upcoming Horus Heresy box set. And in this article, we get a chance to look at the new Contemptor Dreadnought. So the shiny new Contemptor Dreadnought that will soon be gracing the battlefield of Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, definitely can't sing. And it may not be much good at dancing, but it's so poseable it's not far off. More on that later, but for now, let's take a look at this video. <laughs> That's not what it says, but that's what we're doing. I think it's a good thing they mentioned the posability right off the bat. Because while it's a nicely detailed model, it feels really static in this particular, I guess, position, pose, shot, take your pick. But if it is posable, then you can do some really fun stuff because it is kind of a blank slate for a lot of customization, I think. As well as just a lot of flat panels for some really cool paint jobs. All right. Decent little vid. All these previews I thought were actually pretty well done throughout this entire uh, kind of preview for the month. So let's take some closer looks here. If you like the idea of a fallen hero of your legion marching imperiously into battle, Small arms fires, bouncing harmlessly off its armor, and an automantic force field. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> to crush all those who oppose them in glorious combat, then you're going to love the new Contemptor Dreadnought. Yeah, it's it does have a lot going for it. It's just the initial here I am pose. Yeah, it's pretty static. But speaking of poses, they say it's posable, so let's read on. Not only is it a hardy unit on the battlefield, but it's also brutally powerful both at range and in melee. After all, it's essentially a massive space marine. Okay. What's more, the new multi-part plastic kit includes a wealth of devastating weapon options. Dig it. Yeah, definitely kind of a blank slate kind of thing. The Contemptor's right arm can take ballistic weapons in the form of a bolt cannon or auto cannon, or a tank-busting multi cannon or las cannon. Meanwhile, the mighty left-hand power fist can be equipped with the built-in combi bolter, heavy flamer, plasma blaster, or melt-a-gun. And if you fancy adding some high explosives to your walking arsenal, you can even outfit your contemptor with a carapace-mounted Havoc launcher, which I believe this one is outfitted with right there. Okay. So it goes on. Having loads more weapon options is one thing, but perhaps the greatest triumph of the new kit is its posability, which it needs. All right, the Contemptor Dreadnought has been cunningly constructed with full ball and socket joints at the hips and ankles, as well as half ball joints at the waist and chest. That's pretty slick. Combined with the optional flat or bent toed components and the rotating assembly joints and separate armor plates at the knees and elbows, there is ample opportunity for a really dynamic pose without the need for a complex conversion. All right. As if that wasn't enough variety already, there are even options to outfit your Contemptor Dreadnought's power fist with blunt fingers or sharp claws according to your Legion's preference. That's pretty slick. They should have showed some of those options in the preview. And then it adds, we've now seen the full suite of miniatures that will feature in the new Horse Heresy box set. If you missed it on the social media yesterday, here's the box content spread. Yep. So this was actually teased yesterday on the Warhammer Community Twitter account. Which I follow, but I didn't get a notification for this one. So this one kind of snuck by, but let's get a little bit better look at this. See if we can zoom in some. So yeah, this is, it's a lot of models. We have Terminators, Land Raider, Beaky Space Marines, your Praetors, one for each army, it looks like. Another group of Beakies for the other army. It looks like they get two squads, maybe three, and then they get the Contemptor Dreadnought. And for the ones in yellow on the right, yeah, they have a lot more variety, it looks like. Terminators, the Land Raider. Space Marines and their uh, 
Praetor. So overall, a really cool box set. Likely going to be very pricey. I've seen some speculations come in that this will probably be priced at around 300 plus here in the U.S. at least. And that's probably true. I mean, with the new Necromunda Ash Waste box set coming out at 299 which is redonkulous in my opinion. Uh, I don't see how this one is not at least $299. Um, they could potentially even try to push it even further into the 350 to 400 price range. I've seen some people joking close to 600. I don't know if that's possible. But uh it'll be interesting to see. But as far as my excitement level for this Horus Heresy, I think it's a wait and see for me. I appreciate that they've put all these guys in plastic. That's cool. Um they look well done, and if you're really into the Horus Heresy storyline, I can see where this would be a must have. You can always use a lot of these models uh, to kind of flesh out, to give a little bit more personality to your 40k army. And that's totally cool. I get it. I think I'm just a little bummed with all the price increases lately. So I really do kind of have to pick and choose what I would want to continue playing. And right now, as it stands, Underworlds, Warcry, Necromunda, as I mentioned, those are three systems. I got into Age of Sigmar last year. You know, four, I kind of paused on 40k because there's kill team, so five. Uh, so there's already five games, if you will, that I play within the Games Workshop ecosystem, if you will. So to pick up Horus Heresy, unless I was really a diehard 40k player, which I'm just not right now, I'm not super fond of 9th edition. Uh, I think the look of it's amazing, 9th edition and this new Horus Heresy. Um, and if, if that was your jam, I could see there's no question you'd probably pick this up even if it costs a kidney. Um, don't do that. That's that's not a recommendation. But that may be what it costs. <laughs> Ouch. Literally and figuratively. But that's it for this week's preview. And again, that wraps up this month of all the teasers we got for the upcoming Horus Heresy box set coming out with more news. I almost said coming out May 7th. No, 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 no. That's just more news at Warhammer Fest May 7th. So we'll get some more information. I'm sure, you know, this box set, while it's a self-contained thing, they're probably going to have a lot of supplemental components that'll be for sale right off the bat, I would imagine. This is a huge launch, it would seem. And so I feel like they're going to have all the bells and whistles, you know, with this particular release launch. So. With that said, how excited are you for this new Horus Heresy box set? Have you been looking forward to this for a while? Are you happy with how they've kind of composed this box set? Are you concerned about the price? Would definitely love to hear those thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet and you've enjoyed this content, I've been putting out a lot more videos lately and I'm trying to maintain this schedule. This is kind of where I would like the channel to continue going as well as more miniature related hobby stuff. Uh, when I launched the channel, I was specifically doing just painting and like sculpting with a little bit light review videos. It definitely skewed more towards the review and it's definitely been light on the hobby side of things. So that content will be coming. I also have things like a Patreon. Uh, I also have a website you can check out and a bunch of other social media feeds that I try to post content to. I just posted unrelated to 40K or Horus Heresy altogether. I've been working on some Blood Bowl custom builds and kit bashing conversions. Uh, those are all, you can see photos of those on things like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I have a TikTok account now. So there's a lot of ways to kind of see what I'm working on outside of even the YouTube channel here. But following any of those is greatly appreciated. So with that, I just wanted to say thanks for checking out this video. I hope you're doing well. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.